Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm taking a look at Camtasia. I've got some questions lately from subscribers about asking about how I use Camtasia from uh, different things. And so I'm just gonna go over uh, three things, that, questions I get a lot and answering it in Camtasia. Uh, this is a great program to use if you're looking at uh, screencasting and making videos for YouTube. But let's get started today at Teachers Tech on these three tips on how three ways that I use Camtasia a lot. So the first tip I want to give you is just the mouse cursor. I'm going to start off uh, with simple tips and work all the way up to removing the green screen, how you get the floating head effect for the last one, but they're all pretty simple to use uh, inside Camtasia. So first of all, I need to put some footage down in my timeline and I'm just going to grab this as an example. I've already recorded this. Uh, very easy to record in Camtasia. Also, all I need to do is hit the record and then select my audio and video uh, that I have that I'm using on this. So in this case right here, I'm just going to hit play. I don't know. I'll zoom up on this, but the uh, cursor is right there. They're just the mouse and it's moving around and I don't have any cursor effect on it. So I need to drop the cursor effects down to uh, on top of the screen recording. So the top one is my webcam recording, which is this one with the green screen behind. But if I drag, and I'm just going to show the example, uh, if you have Camtasia, you can try other ones. I'm going to drag it onto my bottom layer, and you can see now, if I follow the mouse, it is highlighted and it moves around to where ever it goes and I can adjust this I can adjust the color you can see how it's yellow I can change this to a different color I can change the size of this and I have uh, different options that I can quickly go through and you can see you have different ones uh, that you have uh, to go through you can see and you have different options of to show the right click and the left click when you go through. So very simply just drag and uh, drop that one on. So let's go to another important feature that I use a lot and, and that's the zoom one. So I have the footage that I just recorded from how to add the mouse uh, effects on the cursor and I'm going to use that to show you how, how I can zoom in Camtasia. Now uh, let's say if I wanted to, I know I'm going to get to a certain part of the video that I want to show you where the uh, where the cursor effect is so it's going to be moving over here. I might want to add a zoom uh, to this. So what I do is go over to animation and what I can do is I'm just going to increase it up here and I'm going to move it over. So because I want to make sure people can see uh, where the, on the, this case is going to be the mouse cursor, but I could even zoom it up even more like so. I'll just move it into place to make sure it fits. And then now you can see I'll just bring back my playhead and I'll play it and it's going to zoom up to the exact part where I brought it to. So that's using the animation in here and you can see then I can go if I played it and I want to move it back again I could go scale to fit and it goes back and these arrows here are adjusting it so I'll hit play and then it goes back. And there's two arrows on this. If I never wanted the top one with my head uh, changed, and I'll talk a bit more in the next tip, I can delete those uh, from it. But I'll show you that in the next tip when I remove the green to get the uh, floating head effect um, of my videos. So my last quick tip today using Camtasia is just removing the green. The nice thing with Camtasia, I'm recording on uh, from the webcam and also from my screen and it's recording in two different tracks. If it was recording together, then I wouldn't be able to do this. So I'm going to go, I got to make sure I'm on the top track, which is my webcam. I have the green screen behind me. I do have lights and everything in here because it just makes it simpler when you're working with green screen. And now I need to go over to visual effects here and what I do is I just drag it over top but I can drag it right onto the uh, what I want on that I want to add the effect on this one and next I'm going to actually increase the size of this so there's two different things I could crop this or I can I got to make sure if I want to crop it's over here but I want to drag uh, I want this larger so I'm going to drag the corners up just so you can see me a bit better and then what I'm going to do is go over here to the color and I'm gonna pick the eyedropper and I'm gonna select the color that I wanna remove. And now I can adjust, uh, sometimes maybe if the lighting wasn't set right, I can maybe uh, adjust the 
tolerance of it or I can adjust the softness and I can get things exactly the way I want. I could diffringe more. You can see as I go back and forth. These are, if you get it to a different part, you can always reset it over here back to it. So now if I drag my playhead back, you can see it's removed behind. I can hit play. I have it larger. I could even make it larger if I want, depending on what you do. So those are just three quick tips that I have for using Camtasia and kind of the ones I go to most. It can do a lot more Camtasia. So just to let you know, I have a beta course coming out right away that's going to go through all the steps, how I create my video videos using screencasting and Camtasia and uploading them to YouTube uh, to rank and to make some extra money doing this. So if you're interested in joining this beta course, I'll put the link down below in the description. You can click on that to get more information. But thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next week with some more tech tips and tutorials.